So then we get on to the sacred fool. Um, uh, you know, it's sacred. What, what do you understand? Why, why, why sacred fool? And what, what does it mean to you? The sacred fool, for me, predominantly is an aspect that I've been able to connect within me who a very a, a simple level brings humor and compassion to the things that I have to see on this journey and without it so there have been times where I've got very 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 serious because sometimes it is serious work and it can take us to painful places and yet now I feel that energy in me. Sometimes it will be something I will speak or I, I hear it in other people. I work a lot with women when they, they bring something to the table and at the same time, they bring this energy of something humorous that, that allows that it gives it that space. And without that, we take ourselves too seriously and we can become too fearful to reveal the darkest aspects of ourselves. I, th I see the sacred fool as very connected to the light of humor to allow our shadow to emerge. And how do you see the sacred fool as keeping this sovereignty healthy? Because we know too many sovereigns, especially in our world at the moment, who achieve some sort of sovereignty in their career or their life path and then go turn into tyrants and turn into weird de addicts to power and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So how does our sacred fool keep the sovereign healthy? Well, yeah, the words keeping me humble come into play. Um, it is interesting because I, I think for myself, this journey to sovereignty just continues to bring up aspects of shadow. So I can't, and, and like I said before, the sacred fool helps me with that and also can help me laugh at myself. I mean, sometimes I have hilarious thoughts, you know, um, in my work. Uh, and I think an interesting bit has been about uh, opening to a higher connection and spirit being the force of work instead of me. I'm a human. I learn skills. I learn ways and then I ask spirit to support the space whilst not abdicating as a human I'm bringing all this in and sometimes I have been aware of parts that sort of if they if they could be personified they'd, they'd be in their gowns sort of saying oh, wow you know this the power of this work and I have to bring that sacred fool and just laugh at myself and be like yeah your little human self would love to think that you're the seat of power but you know that humility to just keep coming back to yeah it's because it is incredibly powerful it is incredibly beautiful to sit with people and see them come to their own insights their own sovereignty their own griefs and joys and story understanding and, and then it, the important thing to not let that become about you. Which is what the sacred fool does. Exactly oh, you're does. just a narcissist. It's all about you. <laughs> that's what I get anyway. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. But that's great, isn't it? Because we, we need to. We, we need to. There are people walking around. And I do have compassion, but it's about not being dangerous because this sort of work is tender work and if people get into that space of um i'm god or sort of messianic complex and it can be very dangerous for people coming to them and they may not be aware of it even so i'm grateful for the shadows and i'm grateful for the fool who can help me laugh at those parts of me that otherwise might go oh my gosh i've got this amazing gift it's like no we're the channels for life to unfold mm -hmm. 